Hello everybody and welcome back. In, today, in today's video I'm going to review my wildlife tripod. As you can see, it's a combination of a Benro uh, tripod and a Photosiki uh, gimbal head. But let's crack on. Okay, the gimbal. Uh, first of all, well, we'll see the gimbal head, uh, the tip one, of, uh, one model by Photosiki. It's a sturdy piece of uh, aluminium on the screen. You can see the specification of the gimbal. I'm sorry, but I, um, as you can see, I've put I've put this ribbon uh, for protecting the gimbal and to camouflage it in the My Wildlife uh, photography session. Uh, but the finish of the gimbal is made. The gimbal has three different types of movement in order to, uh, to move the lens and the camera in almost every situation. Uh, staying sure to not, to, uh, to not drop down uh, the lens in any way and use only one hand to, man to manage it. Uh, this aspect of using only one hand is for me is vital because I don't have every time uh, to close and open the several knobs uh, when um, when have to photograph something. In fact, once you have balanced the lens, you can leave open the knobs. Let's see the axis movement now. The pan axis is controlled by this knob uh, that can be used with gloves as well. Uh, so it's useful in winter. The movement is really smooth in every, uh, in every side and you don't feel any strange friction. Uh, the tilt axis is controlled um, by this knob and considering the sides uh, it, can be, uh, it can also be used with gloves. And also in this case the movement uh, is, um, is smooth without strange friction. Then you can adjust the height of the lens respect to the tilt, the tilt axis in order to have a bigger angle of movement. Uh, the cradle mount has an Arca Swiss uh, uh, dovetail, uh, uh, dovetail support, so you can use uh, your preferred Arca Swiss dovetail. Better a long one in order to balance properly uh, the lens, like mine, uh, but maybe longer of this one. Uh, by the way, for balancing the lens, you have to move forward and, and backward the lens plate in the clamp of the gimbal until you reach your, um, the right balance, uh, right balance point. Now I'll show you. The tripod. Uh, speaking about the tripod, to be honest, it's like many other carbon fibers in the market. I bought this one because I had a good price and uh, had the best feature for me. Being a carbon tripod can be used in the water without worrying of the corrosion and, of course, it's lighter than a metal tripod. Uh, then I wanted to uh, start a tripod with a decent load capacity. And the twist lock system, it's easy to use and the material used are good. In fact, so far the lock doesn't wobble in, a way, in any way. On the, screen, uh, on the screen you can see all the specification of the tripod. One of the main features of the tripod is the central column. The central column, but in, in my case, it's really useful because uh, it allows me to change easily the height of, um, from the ground of the tripod when I'm in a photo blind. In that way, I can adjust the camera position, uh, staying comfortably sit down on the chair, on a chair. Uh, the tripod has also a compass, a bubble uh, for leveling the tripod and a hook to put uh, uh, to put a bag in windy days uh, condition. Uh, Barrow um, 
give you also a bag to transport the tripod. Uh, I use it uh, a lot to protect the tripod itself when, uh, when I move it uh, somewhere. Inside the bag there is a pocket with some accessories, uh, like uh, metal tips for different kind of ground, some keys for adjusting the screw of the tripod, and a tissue to clean it. So uh, they have been really generous. Um, now I want to tell you what uh, are for me the pros and the cons of this system. Okay, let's go to see the pros. The pros about the gimbal are the gimbal itself. So the ability to move the camera with only one hand and a very good material. Then the movement of the axis that are smooth uh, and the remarkable load capacity. Mm, 45 kg, uh, it's a, a big, a big number. Uh, the pros about the tripod are the weight, uh, the central column, uh, the number of the legs, three is the right compromise between sturdy and lightness, in my opinion. The compass, the bubble level, uh, and the back to transport the, tri the tripod uh, itself. Uh, the cons, uh, mm, okay, the cons of the gimbal are the weight. I think it's a bit heavy, in my opinion, and not having a bag to transport the big gimbal is a, is a bit annoying. Another cons is that you can adjust the, fric the friction of the knobs and there isn't a bubble level in the base of the gimbal head. So if you don't have a bubble level in the tripod, uh, you'll, never know, uh, you'll never know how to balance better your system, uh, your tripod. The cons of the tripod is the, again the central column, uh, because if you need to stay really close to the, uh, to the ground, you can't, you can't do, uh, do it uh, its present and to achieve that you should buy a shorter column and change it uh, or maybe remo removing, removing it uh, forever and this, is, uh, and this is a clever solution for me okay mm, okay it's time to come to a conclusion i want to analyze uh, some aspects of my wildlife tripod first of all the total weight but it's not so light in total there are 3.5 kilograms of tripod plus the gimbal head but uh, um, with the lens and the camera you reach at least a total of 6.5 kilograms to carry on every time and if you have to photograph from a photo blind this solution is perfect mostly if you don't have to walk for a long time but if you are uh, if you are a hiker that prefer to make itinerant photo hunt so i think it's not the best solution but I, in situations like that i prefer to use a monopod uh, in order to be lighter and faster. Speaking about the cost, the only gimbal costed about 400 euros, while the tripod about uh, 350 euros. So not really cheap, uh, but mm, also not so expensive, considering the good quality of the materials. Now it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed watching, watching my video, let me know what you think about my solution or leaving, leaving me a comment in the comment section below please. And please consider to subscribe to, to the channel and why not give me a like. Uh, that will uh, help me a lot giving me the possibility to make always new videos. New videos. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, stay calm and bye for now. See you!